as uh, the pet partner handler has been alerted that this is somebody on the list who really loves dogs. They have a couple family members that are in visiting with them. They love dogs. They're missing their dog at home. So they'd really like a visit. So for this particular um, role play, or for this particular visiting scenario, we're going to be looking at pets, but we're also going to add one more skill spot. So we're gonna have five skill spots total. Pets plus whoever is the handler is going to knock on the door, ask if they can come in, and they're going to assess the situation and assess you know, the best placement for them and their animal, given that now we're dealing with a few people in one room. Could be tight quarters, so they, they want to really assess the environment and the situation first. With John and Kendra, I will need one of you to be the handler and one of you to be the skill spotter. What would you like to do? I'll try the, the, uh, the handler. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, wow, that was yeah, easy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you want me to do the skill spotting? You'll be the skill okay. spotter. Tony, you will be another family member. Okay, so you'll come into the room. You'll be a family member sitting next to the bed. Pretend you're at an airport. And then I will need one more volunteer to be an extra family member. Thank you, Greg. Come on up. So you'll be the client, he'll be a family member visiting you, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to be another family member, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'll be the pet partner, so again we're looking for those five skill spots. Um, and in addition, remember we need to knock at the door, ask if it's okay to enter, assess the situation. Knock, knock, knock. They're all down the second there. Who is it? I'm John. Oh, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Greg yeah. Marks, nice to meet you. Greg, pleasure. And you are Tony? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So this is uh, my dog, Bernie. We're Lovely pet partners. Yeah, he is uh, he's a Bernese mountain dog. He's <laughs> been uh, my in the family for about three years. And they all have nice big ears like that? Yeah, you know, that's one of the one of the things about the uh, the breed is the ears are nice and soft and uh, yeah, yeah. He's well, would you like to come a little bit closer here? He, he really good. likes dogs. Yeah. So. I appreciate that. He misses okay. his dog yes. that he had. You Aww. like the pet breed? Oh, I love yeah. dogs. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I got that break and got to go get a cup of coffee. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a dog here. Hi. Hi. I'm John. Hi, John. And nice who's this? You. More importantly, who's this? This is Bernie. Hi, yeah. Bernie. We're pet partners. What's a pet partner, John? A pet partner, it's a, a person and their animal who go and visit people in various uh, okay. health care okay. settings. Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, is it right here? Oh, yeah, it's you're right. He's not you're feeling right. too well. It would be really nice if you could spend some time with But them. can't oh, family absolutely. get some pets with the dog, too? Come on, Greg. Family? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So what I want to do is we can, you know, with Bernie, he's uh, this is um, a challenge for both of us in terms of making sure that Does we interact have with him. Does he back here? So what we're going to do is, um, oh, oh, can I see his yeah. tail, please? That's, we appreciate your, your interest. <laughs> that that is great. Please? Well, well, I guess you should let Tony pet him too. I mean, yeah. What what we'll do is, uh, I love dogs so yeah, much. And we're here That'd be really to, nice. to interact with Tony, but we want to you know, <laughs> okay. answer your questions. Well, right. I understand that, but uh, we really, it's not like... You know, like my dog loves these back scratches. Yeah, you know, Does I, he like back scratches? It's okay. Um, excuse me, excuse me. Seriously, yeah. we need to spend some time with him. I don't have much time myself. That's okay. I appreciate that. So he really okay. needs, You know, I'll go uh, sit over here next I'd to Tony. That. And okay. Outstanding. Okay. Yeah, what's your name? Matter of fact, John, why don't you love and get a little closer? Oh, aren't they great? They're great, yeah. And I will go over here and I'll talk to my You know what, John? You may also want to see George. Oh, really? George loves dogs. Now, we're, He's having a hard day. Yeah, I love dogs, too. Yeah, I love speak dogs. For a second. <laughs> well, so I'm how old is the dog? dog. He's four. With the dog He's four? Right yeah. And you've had him for a long time? Yeah, time to visit yeah I've had him dog. since he was just a puppy. If, if the dog ever has a litter, can you give me a dog, please? Well, we'll have to see if we breed him or not. I really love dogs. I really want another Well, I wanted to give John some tips on some other people to see I have had a dog. My dog died three years ago. You know what, Tony? Just a second. Hey, John, have you visited Mr. Smith? Not Who, yet, but Mr. we're, we're going to work on oh, that. Oh, he's down the hallway. He's yeah. got, you know, he's, he does just he got out of surgery. Like he does. I love Yeah, dogs. yeah. Mr. Smith is having a hard day, too. He just got out of surgery. So I think he'd really love a visit from you and Bernie. That would be great. You, you know, what make we're going to sure need to do him. is... is have you visited him before? Do you work? Well, what do you man, think? Can you do a trick for me, please? 
And what trick would you like Bernie to do? Uh, backflip. Well, that's oh, yeah, that's a good one. Probably wouldn't be appropriate. Hey, you know which one I taught my dog to do? Play dead. That is an awesome one. No, you can do the bang no, no, bang. No, no, play no. dead. I don't like. Yeah. I don't, I don't like him. My dog died two years ago. It brings back memories. It's, oh, Tony, it's been two years. Yeah. I know, Come but on. I love dogs. Come on, there's another dog here you can pet. Here, let's concentrate on this dog right now. Okay. Yeah. Backflip. No, not not today. Maybe another time or another Chase environment. Chase sale? But for <sighs> here, no, he doesn't. Fortunately, he doesn't do that. What does he do? He visits with people, and he's oh. very calming. Oh, he is. Yeah. I love him. He, he does seem much. like a really calm dog, but would he like to play, maybe? Well, Might be a lot calmer um, if you are know bothering the dog right now. <laughs> I'm not this bothering him. Point. I'm petting him. Because what's me. happening right now is <laughs> yeah. there's a little bit too much <laughs> stimulation for Bernie. So if, if you could... Uh, you want me to back up? Is it no, okay? but Rachel, if you could go back to where you were so Tony can But I can't pet him if I'm over there. Well, That's we'll come idea. around or maybe we can um, Where's my brother you at? Did you come with my brother? Yeah, I he's know working. Wife. He's, he's working. working. He couldn't come. I really yeah, want to see him. He wanted to say he was sorry. He where are your guys' dogs? you guys bring them? No. No. You guys still have the well, two they're German in the car. Shepherds? I mean, I guess I could bring them up. Oh, did they get yeah. big? And so I'm just going to yeah. move here a little bit okay. and uh, go around to the other side. <laughs> How big are the uh, dogs now? You know what? I'll go get the dogs because uh -huh. they could play. Oh, my gosh. That yes. would be so fun. Well, and then I could get the trick. Not, in this environment, that wouldn't be appropriate. But love He doesn't to, like other dogs? He loves other dogs. But when you're in a healthcare setting, we have to be mindful of oh. their needs and also the okay. patient's needs. Okay. So, yeah, and another, another you know, opportunity. You know, I think Tony would love to see my dogs, though, too. Maybe I I'll go dogs. get my dogs. Are they big? No, and then, big. And then at the same what's, time, what's I'll stop by Mr. Smith's room and let him know you'll be there to see him. Well, a couple a of things. Time. Before you bring your dog in, you want to check with the hospital staff to say, you know, are are you registered and are they okay with that? So it, it wouldn't be but appropriate just to just dogs. bring them in. Couldn't I just like put them in my purse? Oh, you got new babies? Yeah. yeah, they're little, two little chihuahuas. I want to see them, them so in? bad. Well, it, it all depends on the administration. So you really need to check with them and make sure that it's okay. okay. Bernie, okay. he's been approved. Oh, so he could stay? For a little bit. We're going to need to move on okay. because we have other people that we want to see, but we really appreciate it. I love his you ears. being able to visit with us and everything. Hey, John, really I can take you down to Mr. Smith's room. Well, I need to check with the coordinator because she has it okay. kind of mapped out where we're okay. going to go next. Okay. It's a pleasure meeting. Okay. Bernie's All right. enjoyed it as well. Ooh. You know, I have some dog treats. Can I give him a treat? Yeah, I'm doing That's a good treats? question. You know, um, what kind of treat is it? Ooh. Oh, easy. No, easy. Yeah, really? that's a, yeah. He's a, a little uncomfortable about that. Can you okay. can you see? Well, is he gonna bite we, if I do that? No, but can you see um, how he reacted where he was a little bit okay. like, okay. Yeah, 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 I see that. But appreciate the okay. offer for the okay. treat. Okay. Well, Tony, I'll go get my dogs. I'll come yes. back up with my my little dogs Everybody. and yeah. Do they do tricks. They do. They do lots of tricks. Okay. They like do like sit pretty and dance and all that kind of stuff. Like Thriller, Michael Jackson. Yeah, we could have him do that. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye, Bernie. Bye, Bernie. Oh, easy. <laughs> yeah, so I hope that you were able to enjoy your time with uh, with Bernie and that you feel better kind of soon. Yeah, and Greg was very helpful, so yes. it's good that you have family here. And this everything. is my older brother. Ah, so we're going to be moving on because we have some other people that we Aww. want to see today. But Any perhaps at another time, we'd be able to stop by and see you again. But hopefully, you're going to be better and, and we'll have gone on. Thank you. I think yeah. you're perfect. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Nice job. That was a hard one. That was a really hard one. So I suppose I should have moved quicker. I mean, it, it, it really well, is interesting when you're sitting there and all of a sudden you've got three folks yeah. who want to, yeah. you know, it's like, wow. I think you did an okay. excellent so job here's a, But, I mean. So overall, how is your visiting experience? Well, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I love Bernese, obviously, but um, it really is something else when somebody starts, when three different people come at you, um, and all with good intent, but it's like, wow, you know, how do I, uh, how, how do I politely intercede and say, you know, maybe this isn't the best thing for the animal mm -hmm. type of thing. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to convey. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things at the same time, you know, if somebody's just really intent on it, you have to be, I mean, I guess fairly straightforward. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. I like it because mm -hmm. that scenario is very realistic. Some, some people just take over and the dog kind of feels uncomfortable. I think he did an excellent job mm -hmm. yeah. explaining 
what necessary steps and you have to go check in first before you bring your dogs in and stuff like that. So it's, you know, you really want to have the interaction, but at the same time being able to advocate and kind of multitask, as you pointed out, is being saying, okay, how's, he, how's it going and how's the animal reacting? At the same time being respectful of the people and, and knowing there's various levels of um, understanding about therapy animals or just animals in general. Mm -hmm. And you can see that when people really love animals, mm -hmm. You know, it's like they want more, but you know, there's there, there's some limits. Was there anything that was a surprise for you, John? The thing about you know, the are they going to have babies? Can I get one of the you know? <laughs> can I get a puppy and things like that? I, love I didn't anticipate that really just kind of pulling on the ears and that type of thing because it's like wow, wow this is maybe not good. What do you what do you think, group? I think he managed the whole situation yeah. really well with all the almost chaos going on yeah. in the room. Yeah, he managed, he you know, kept his cool, mm -hmm. uh, but he was real firm when he had to be, you know, and mm -hmm. you know, he was kind of unreasonable. You know, it's one thing to pet it, but if, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, like mm -hmm. Tucker, he salivates. So I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to know whether the dog was salivating because you're, you're spending so much time trying to, you know, maintain your eye contact mm -hmm. and, and be, you know, real with the people. But it's tough to monitor everything. I think you did a fantastic job. job. That was a lot to manage. Yeah, yeah. You yes, did a fantastic you kept your job. Cool very well. yeah. <laughs> you were very calm and you were patient with me when you could have just really said, I'm sorry we can't visit with you. <laughs> you I mean it, it, but you were really Yeah. You were really patient and you did a nice job of managing the situation, assessing where to go at different times and repositioning you and your animal. How would you I already have a visitor and I'm in my bed? And then as my brother's wife, you came in, mm -hmm. um, how would that process work? That's part of why we, we ask to assess the situation when you knock on the door and you walk in and you look around and you see, okay, is it tight in here? Is the temperature hot? Are there a lot of people? Is there food? What other distractions are there and where is the best place to, for me and my animal to go? Or maybe this isn't an appropriate interaction. Maybe I should just do a very quick, hello, nice to meet you. Would you like to see my dog do a trick? Well, we've got to get going now. We have some other people to visit. You can do that too. It really depends on the situation. So you need to basically assess and then make that judgment call. Did anybody pick up on the trick that I asked about? To play dead. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, in my experiences visiting, I've had people ask me to do that trick. And that's come up and Ideas as to why that would be inappropriate as a trick. Well, first of all, who might you be visiting with? If you're visiting with somebody who's terminally ill, Cancer, patient, that's probably. right, exactly. That's not respectful mm -hmm. of, of them and what they're going through. Secondly, it's not respectful of your animal, and it's not respectful for that human animal bond and that that teamwork that we talk about. How have you in the past um, effectively told, said to somebody that they're making um, Mia nervous? You can tell by the signals. Mm -hmm. Because that's one of the things I wanted to say, you know, you're kind of freaking the dog out, but I couldn't <laughs> think of it. You ask that person, me, to look at your dog's body language and to look at how your dog was reacting, that they weren't comfortable with that. And I think that if we put it back on the dog and say, you know, my dog's not really comfortable with that. Or if you need to end a visit and you say, my dog needs a break. They need to go out to go potty. People are more likely to hear that and to respect that than if you say, I'm not comfortable with you doing that with my dog. Because people usually um, are much more, I don't know, they're much more willing to take the dog's or the animal's welfare into account. So what you said was, was great. You were showing me the signals. and. And another thing you could say would be something along the lines of, um, you know what, let me help you pet my dog in a way that he enjoys. Mm. This is what my dog, my dog really loves to be petted right here. Let me show you, just like that. See, he really enjoys that. What you could do is something we call even blocking, where you could put, if you had a big dog, you put your foot right here and you are between that person and your dog. <laughs>